Right, Torrent, decision made. What I'm going to do is see if it's all. I'm going to replace the barrels with this, which is extremely hard to see. It's actually a very fine brass tube, which will make a really nice gun barrel compared to the gun barrels that are on. Let's see, I hope that get you in a bit closer though. One thing I was trying to do is uh, using this stuff here, it's uh, kind of a rectangular bar basically, cut it off, it's pretty much, where did you go, the right size for a gun reach, I was, the plan was, was to put a piece there, put a piece there, there we go. Drill an hole through it and put this through. Because what I also need to do is to spread the spread the bells out slightly. But that was really hard. So what I'm going to do Oh we're wobbling about. See what I've done with that is I've measured that from the end of the breach. Which incidentally, I've cut off a little bit as much as I can because as it was turning up, I'll put this there. As it was turning up, the back of that was hitting the uh, gunner, so it was only moving a little bit. I've cut a bit of that, I've actually trimmed a little bit of his hands off as well. Which, uh, sorry, mate, but there we are. So then they'll, they'll traverse from about 90 degrees to about 45 degrees, which is which is okay. It'll work. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be uh, playing with it or anything, is it? So, how am I going to achieve this? Well, what I'm thinking is I've got these strips from some smaller rectangular section. And... This is not really going to work without gluing them. I'm going to glue those two, one there, one there, and then there'll be a kind of a slot between them. This gets glued there, barrel cuts off, do the same on the other one, put them together, get them in, canopy on, and it's all good. Apart from the fact there's no kind of framing whatsoever on this which I'll have to deal with after I've sorted the gun barrels out so without further ado let's get that done so here's one completed can get this over there without wrecking the place so there we go that's what I'm talking about nice bit of Brass tube between two pieces of plastic, and uh, just need to do the same with that. Then, touch wood that's all going to go together through that ring into there, and the turret is done. Da, 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 da. Well, that turned out quite nicely. Let's just wobble you all over the shop. Right in there. So as you can see, where are you? Our two bits of plastic. A lovely bit of tube. And you can see that uh, that's looking very nice indeed. And the good news is now, of course, bear in mind the gunner's not actually glued in, so he might move around. But there we go. 
So we have a really nice come to it with a nice <clears throat> little bit more in scale barrels. I was kind of tempted to do the same with the uh, chin turret. But they, to be fair, thickness wise, they ain't too bad. And obviously, it's actually going, going to be that way when it's in the plane. Ooh, oh, I didn't tell you, did I? And another thing. Let me just change it. Stop messing me about. It's kind of uh, of our little package today. Excuse my language. My cat's got my name and address on it. Oh, I'll have to see if you, I don't think we would have seen that. But, uh, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. And we're back in the room. Yeah, go on room number one. Uh, apparently you shouldn't leave your name and address and postcode on blatant display on the internet. Otherwise you get all sorts of uh, craziness. So let's see what's happening here. Da, 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 da. And it's, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining again. Hurrah! This is, well, as you see, this is literally me opening this right now. Some lovely paper. And there we go. Here's the good stuff. Poppy bubble wrap. Yeah, everyone likes a bit of that. All right, in the bottom, premium hobbies. Your packaging is second to none. Bravo! Ooh, Ooh they've changed the design of the bottles, have Lots and lots of lovely chrome silver. No, not that one. That's dark iron. Where did I put that? And some more chrome silver. So, we've got more than enough to get this thing painted, which is nice. And further good news is that when I was looking for this uh, brass tube, I also found some other brass tube which was slightly thicker, which I can use to help complete this beast, which is, and there's it, which will be when it's eventually finished. Martian handling machine. Now you can see in this picture that the sort of front claw arms are going up and dropping someone into the basket on its back. Problem is, as provided in the kit, you get six of these which won't get anywhere near 
the basket on its back, so it makes it a bit redundant. But I've found some uh, brass tube. I've got some other brass tube, which I think I must have bought to, to actually do that. So, it may be that once I get a few projects clear, I'm going to get back on that, because I've been building that for round about off the top of my head 14-ish years. And, um, and after I've done the B17, this stuff... This is what I believe it's painted in now. It's a big up, well, I'll like I say, I'll probably make another video on it and, and go into more detail. But uh, yeah, there's one for all the Wall of Worlds fans out there, potentially in the pipeline. So that is that. So we're all dry fitted. I've got it popped in, nothing's really fully glued but that's not bad that's not bad at all and you and me are the only people who probably know how much work went into that although there's a fair bit more because I've now got to sort out the framing where are you hold still So, next task, the ball turret. Ho, ho, ha, ha. And we're on to the ball turret. Oh, uh. So, this has got no framing or detail, pretty much whatsoever. I've got two, two hemispheres, one clear, one plastic. And we'll go to get there'll be a pilot and pilot. There'll be a gunner, two machine guns, and be dangling from uh, this thing from inside the plane. It should move up and down and turn. If I get this right. So what I've done I've can you see this? I've roughly cut a bit of masking that will be a kind of like I said, a rough idea of what a ball to it should look like because I've got nothing whatsoever on the kit part to go on. Hopefully it'll look a bit better when painted. So, on that note, I'll fire up the airbrush and let's see what we can get. There you can press on. And there's a wee bonus. damage on this thing that needs touching up
Right, masking's off, and I've got something that uh, doesn't look too bad actually in the grand scheme of things. Of course, it's not not fully together yet. It's just kind of together temporary, but uh, yeah, that'll pass. That'll do a job. So. That's another turret down. And here we go. Welcome to a tour of Dry Fit Sitter. Straighten that up and that. So as you can see, despite the fact it's held together with clamps, I've got now got something that's beginning to look like a B17. Chin to it, all good. Top to it, sorted out. Apart from the uh, painting of the glazing, which i um, probably get, get that done tomorrow. The one I'm particularly pleased with, and you've just watched me do it, is this uh, ball to it, which. Got to watch this because it's not, uh, it's not really. That moves ever so nicely. There you go, it's got a little TIE fighter hanging from the bottom. I'm not actually there was a top to it. I'm not actually sure which part of this was the top or the bottom. And it should be like that with guns below that window. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. That's where they're actually supposed to be. Anywho, some light on the subject. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Plus, like I said, I've got all the paint in, so as soon as I get the, uh, got the two mid gunners to do, waist gunners, tail gunner in, sort the, uh, in fact, to be fair, I could just take that out. I don't need the uh, top gunner to be in for me to be able to paint this. So there you go. The silhouette is definitely a B17 all of a sudden. And on that note, I'm going to leave this B till tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what else we can stick to it. And how much paint we can throw at it.